Are you okay, Jesse? Uh huh. You're moving from the edge. There's no point. It was a dumb idea. You're not going to try anymore. No, Jesse. If you don't have any hope, then why are you still here? I have a question for you. For me. I don't have many answers, but I'm listening. Do you want to be healed? Who are you? We'll get to that later. But my question remains. Will you take me to the water? <laughs> Look, I'm having a really bad day. You've been having a bad day for a long time. So? Sir? I have no one to help me into the water when it's stirred up. And when I do get close, the others step down in front of me. And so... Look at me. Look at me. That's not what I asked. I'm not asking you about who's helping you or who's not helping. Rose getting in your way. I'm asking about you. <laughs> I've tried. For a long time, I know. And you don't want false hope again, I understand. But this pool, it has nothing for you. It means nothing, and you know it. But you're still here. Why? I don't know. You don't need this pool. You only need me. So, do you want to be healed? So let's go. Get up, pick up your mat, and walk. Free to walk, like he said. Don't forget your bed. Why does this matter? Because you're not coming back here. That life is over. Everything changes now. Yo! It's Shabbat. What are you doing? Torah forbids carrying a mat on Shabbat? Not Torah, the oral tradition. Yes. Transporting objects from one domain to another violates Shabbat. The man who healed me. Do you not realize what just happened here? Why are you trying to make this about Shabbat? He said to me, take up your bed and walk. <laughs> who did? Who told you that? He did. I, I don't know. He didn't tell me his name. No. 
Of course not. He performs a magic trick and tells you to commit a sin. A false prophet. This will be reported. <laughs> Report whatever you want. I'm standing on two legs. <laughs>